You're the guy. This is good. I mean, I, I, I thought you'd take off running into the woods, you know? No, I generally finish my rounds. Well, you are a saint, my man. Just doing my job, sir. Speaking of which, all good news. I think we can get you out of here pretty quick. Oh, yeah, that too. Great. OK, everyone, I think that um, Dr. Ted, um, I mean, uh, Ted is probably pretty busy with his other patients who are. Well, I, I, I am a patient. I don't want to say that, son. Um, I'm proud of you. I mean, uh, El Toro. <laughs> you know, twins, you know what I'm saying? Baby. Twins? Okay. Twins? Twin zeros with the five in front. That was a scene from Prego Land, a film written by and starring our next guest, Sonia Bennett. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Congrats on the show. Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, so you are a busy mother of two. Uh, you worked on this film, uh, writing it early in the morning. You were getting up at 4.40, going to a coffee right. shop. Specifically 4.40. Four, not 4.30. Okay, we do not, research. No, that's actually true, because Starbucks opens at 5, so I timed it all out. Mm -hmm. 4.40 teeth, Starbucks when they open. Perfect timing. Nose in the door. Yeah. And the film was inspired by jaywalking, kind of? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about that. Okay, well, I have this uh, coffee shop that I like to work at. Not Starbucks if it's not five in the morning, but right. whatever details. <laughs> and uh, I jaywalk to get to it because if I, I don't, I have to walk like a long three blocks and I'm lazy, so I don't do that. Then it's like 4.50. Yeah, and right? I don't have time to waste, <laughs> is what I'm telling You're you. busy mom. That's right. Um, so when I jaywalk, people usually give me dirty looks and honk and they don't like it. And it is illegal, so fair. Right. But... Uh, 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 one day I went to step over the curb and these cars just screeched to a halt and it's like the parting of the Red Sea. <laughs> this is really bizarre. So I walk across the street and I look over and the people in the cars are smiling at me and I'm like, that's unusual. And I get to the other side and I look down and I realize I've just started showing I was pregnant with my first son and I'd popped and it got me thinking about how we treat pregnant women, which is, you know, like we're goddesses and it's right. really bizarre. So I knew I wanted to write an, a movie that explored the pregnancy pedestal. Makes sense. Yeah, I love all the observations you've made. That's one of them. I noticed you and Peter talking in the green room. You both have kids. There's mm -hmm. that automatic connection. Yeah, you right. You noticed that as well, right? With women who are moms or, or about to be moms. Yeah, I, I mean, absolutely. That, that was another big piece of the movie for me. That's why I, it was important to me to write a movie that was about female friendships primarily. Um, because I, I don't know, I don't know if you find it this way, but I find it awkward to make friends sometimes as an adult. You know, like when you're younger, you have school, you see each other every day. Mm -hmm. But to make those sort of leaps from like, you know, exercising beside somebody on the elliptical machine to let's hang out is awkward. It's just as awkward as asking someone on a date. Well, that's what it, you know, or and, and you, you are asking them on that's a date. Exactly. That's what I was going to yeah. say. That happened to me once at the gym. I was like bantering with this woman. And I was like, we should hang out sometime. And I just saw her whole face <laughs> drop. And I'm like, oh, she thinks that I'm hitting on her. And it was never the same again. She didn't want to talk to <laughs> well, anymore. It's, it's, yeah, it's so true. I mean, you go to the playground, you start talking to other yeah, parents, and you're like, I know I just moved uh, to Coquitlam and trying to meet new people. It's easier if you have a kid and you're at the playground and you're, as opposed to going to the playground without kids and hanging out. Well, people then, find that a little weird, call right? The cops. I found that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's not a good idea. No, don't, don't do that. Go to the park without children. <laughs> yes. Because you appear weird. Yeah. That's right. For sure. But well, yes, you just have an instant connection. It, yeah. For right. Sure. Yeah. And I love that's all the um, awesome observations that you made in the film. And maybe just tell us, sort of, for people who haven't seen it, what's the film about? Um, Prego Land is about a 35-year-old woman who pretends to be pregnant to fit in with all of her friends who are in various states of pregnancy and child rearing. Which, it's so, it's true though, I mean, for everybody, you know, there's this pressure to fit in and, you know, there's mm -hmm. awkwardness about asking about kids and are you going to have kids and all these things yeah. that really sums up a lot of stuff that I think women specifically face. Yeah, yeah, and in this day and age, it's kind of, that's how society is, like, women don't have to have babies and there's a lot of women who are having trouble or choosing not to, so it's very relevant in that yeah, way. Yeah, I think that this is going to become more common, you know, and yeah. people not choosing to, to not have children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Let's talk about some of the, the big names in the film that acted alongside mm. of you. Um, I, I read something interesting about the director, Jacob Tierney. He said, you know, with a comedy, you don't have to cast comedians. You just have to cast good actors who can really commit. And, oh, that's um, cool. I didn't, I've never heard him say that Yeah, before. and I think, I think Danny, that was definitely yeah. the case for him. He didn't have a lot of experience doing comedies, right? Yeah, no. I, I, when 
he was Jacob's idea, and I the Muppet movie trailer was just started to play, and yeah. he was had a little cameo, a little pop up in the trailer. So I think there was some evidence that he was game to right. do comedy. Um, but you know, we didn't have a massive budget, so we didn't have money to offer. So we had to offer people new opportunities and different kinds of roles. And he said yes right away. Like he was just game and he's very funny yeah and i think he really i hope he does a lot more comedy he seems like a cool guy like you'd want to hang out with just a nice guy overall he's an incredible guy and so generous right on set on his first day he came up to me and he gave me a big hug and he said oh thank you so much for uh. having me here i went oh yeah 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 don't let's <laughs> not get ourselves around thank right. you for being here he went no i'm just so happy to come to set and not be murdering somebody <laughs> yeah exactly he was there to have a good with time a, with a gun uh, yeah and uh, he traded in for a broom for this movie that's right uh now the movie was shot locally uh, around the lower mainland um you wrote it you starred in it do you feel like you know working with those stars you had some maybe home turf advantage because you're from here and you were a little more comfortable in the area or I mean yeah and, and the actresses who played the great actresses um, Lisa Daru and Denise Jones and Laura Harris um, uh, Carrie Wyshynski these actresses were, were great and I'd known them a little bit because this isn't a huge community right. but I really was like instant mm -hmm. bonding and uh, there was sort of a familiar feeling. And I'm from Maple Ridge, and we were shooting in Maple right. Ridge. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, definitely that all, that all helps. Were you, were you like, hey, James Caan, here's my favorite pub in Maple Ridge if you ever went head out? Because I know that he was in the film, big name, surrounded by all these lovely women. Yeah. Was a great experience. Well, him. you know, apparently he was really game to go out at night. I mean, I, I was tired. I was like, I had to go back to my kids. See ya. <laughs> but by... Yeah, other for the producers and stuff would come in and be like, "Oh, did you get some sleep last night?" I was like, "No, we were we were out with Jimmy." <laughs> if we'd only known Pierre. Well, he's I was out, home with my child too, so yeah, I hear you. He, he's 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 ready for a good time. Yeah, yeah, and it definitely looks like you all had a good time. The film is incredible. Yeah, great film. Really enjoyed so it. So funny. Yeah, a lot of fun. Thank you so much for being here and telling Thank us about it. Thank you for having me.